and welcome back to Tech Tuesday. So today's Tech Tuesday isn't really a painting thing, it's more of a studio thing, uh, but it's really, really important. And um, something that I wish I had done from the very start of all of my art career, um, but I really didn't until later on and then I had to play catch up. So what it is, is keeping track of your paintings or the projects that you're working on. This will apply to anyone who's doing anything creative. Um, in the beginning, I would do the paintings, that would be it. They'd be kind of sold or wherever they were going and that would be the end of it. And afterwards, I found that I was left, if I ever had to um, recall something about the painting, I had to either guess or try to figure it out or you know, go back through whatever sketchbook I had with that to try to figure out the size and all that. So what I adopted doing was keeping track of all the aspects of a painting as I was finishing it. And then, you know, it really just helped me um, across the board to keep track of everything. Um, if a painting went into a show, um, I had all the information right away. I didn't have to go digging for it or pull out a painting and remeasure it or try to figure out what the frame was and all that. So this is the um, this is the info sheet I call them or the information sheet that I have on each painting. And what I include in that is obviously well I have the, the photograph of the finished painting. Uh, and this is just for me, so this doesn't have to be super high quality, it's just for record keeping for me, and this is just a Word file that I use. Uh, so I have the title, uh, the inventory number um, was suggested to me in the beginning, but I really never use it. Um, I come up with a, it's not quite random, um, what it is is it's part of the title and then the date that it was created, and that's how I come up with that number. So if you do a lot of painting, I would think inventory numbers might be helpful. But for me, um, you know, I have them, but I never use them. Uh, but what is important is the date that it, it was completed. And what that is, is that's the date for me that the painting was actually done, not when it was finished framing. Uh, so that's when the painting was finished, the price that it's going to go up for, and then, real important, the hours that I spent on it. So I, I include the hours that I actually work on the painting, and then the hours that I take framing it. Uh, so those will those will help out, you know, in so many different ways in, in determining its value and that kind of thing. And then the size, which is the size of the painting itself, and then the size of the frame. The glass I used in the frame, as well as what wood I used in the frame. And for me, this is a big one because I use so many different kinds of woods. And at the time, I'm like, this is perfect. I know exactly what wood I want to use for it. I'll do it, put it together, and then, you know, three years down the road when the painting's gone, I won't remember what wood it was. You know, it was a, you know what species of wood so so that's an important one for me too and then page two has the backdrop which is this you know the backdrop of whatever is uh, on the painting and then what exhibits the painting is shown in so if I get it into a jury deck uh, show or if it hangs in a gallery it goes into this column here and then any awards that the painting is won too. This is good for a lot of reasons for me like if a painting sells uh, it gives the the buyer, the pedigree, know, knows the pedigree of the painting, you know, what, what it did, where it was, the awards it won. And then uh, the, uh, the next one is um, who owns the painting. Uh, so in this case, this painting is still with me, so it's the artist. But I would put the, the collector's name and address here, had they won it, or won or, yeah, really, had they purchased it. <clears throat> then there's a quick summary on the painting. So the quick summary is like your elevator speech on the painting. If someone asks you, hey, you know, what, what, you know what's up with this painting this is the short version of that so it just kind of gives me a brief um, you know a brief rundown the next part is the story so that's that's kind of gets into like really what the painting is about um, and I also put in this case I put any um, any uh, reviews or comments that I get from other people. So in, in this case, this was, you know, this nice write-up was done by uh, Kate Motes, which is uh, one of the curators for one of the shows that, that, that I was in. Uh, so that goes in the story section, and that can go on and on, depending on, you know, how, how much the painting has been around. Um, so jumping back real quick, hours spent Again, um, I mentioned how, how important that is to me, hours spent on the painting and framing. So the way I keep track of that while I'm working, so that's a big thing. You know, you're working on a painting, it's so easy to sit down for, you know, 20 minutes, work on a painting, and then, you know, go do something else. So for me to keep track of that, there are a couple ways that I do that during a painting. I have a small whiteboard on my, right next to my drawing bench. And um, so what I'll do is on current paintings, I'll kind of list them there, and then I'll use little 
tick marks for hours as I go. Uh, that's one way to do it. The other way I do it, which is a little bit more um, accurate or a little bit at the end of the day more accurate, is I keep a work log of everything I do during the day. I just grabbed this one. <clears throat> this is from August. And basically what it is, it's like a time card for me. It just keeps track of everything that I do during the day. It's not a budget thing, it's not a planning thing. It's just a, what did I really spend my time on? So I'll get into more of this later because I have a more updated way to do this now. Um, but I'll get more into that later. But what's important in this is any of the projects that I'm doing, I keep track. Uh, Truler Hot Rod, this is actually a painting, or was a painting that, that went. So I'll just write down the project that I'm working on and then how much time I spend on it. So this is from 6 a.m. to 9. And then at the end of the day, I'll just, uh, I'll just total it all up and then I'll have the total here. So that gives me a really accurate running total. And again, it's almost impossible for me to do that after the fact. Like after I'm done with the painting, if I didn't keep track during the painting, I'll be like, well, did I spend an hour on that yesterday or did I spend two hours? And I've been working on this for two weeks. You know, and I know I miss time on it, so this just helps me keep honest. And again, if you're if you're kind of getting into it and you're using you're using the hours to generate the value of your piece, um, it's really really important to keep track of that. <clears throat> so it's a really good thing. And later on, it's just a really good thing too. You know, to know what like if I looked at this painting. Knowing that it took me 20 hours, now if someone asks for something similar, I have a good idea of how long it's going to take me. I have a real good idea. I can look back through all the paintings and like the really super detailed ones, I could say, oh, that took 40 hours or 42 hours. So then when someone comes to me and says, yeah, I'd like this painting, I have a really good idea of how long it's going to take me to get that done. And that's something that, you know, that, that information will give you. So I'm a fine artist. I do a lot of, um, you know, a lot of, uh, paintings that hang on the walls but this kind of thing works for anyone creative um, the only thing it doesn't work for is if you if you are very prolific if you do a lot of art you know very quickly for instance if you're a t-shirt artist or um, or you know a crafter that makes you know 15 to 20 pieces a day to keep track like this and have an info sheet on every piece is, is kind of overkill but the important things about this are still valid. So even if you're a crafter and you're making jewelry and you're hand wrapping wires and it takes you about an hour to do a piece and you can crank out like eight in a day, noting that, that each piece roughly takes you an hour and knowing that is really important because again, it determines, helps you determine the value of that piece hour wise. Uh, so it's really important. Again, you don't have to go into complete detail on a piece that takes you 20 minutes to do. Um, but keeping some of that information is really important. Uh, so that is that is what I wanted to share with you guys today. Um, so that's it. So hopefully um, that gives you a little bit of help in uh, kind of organizing, you know, what you're doing, keeping track. Um, trust me, you know, in the beginning it's not going to seem important. It didn't seem important to me. Um, but now that I've got, you know, a body of work behind me and some of it, you know, is really difficult for me to figure, you know, size and time and all that. Um, I really wish I had kept track during, during the entire period. So there you go. All right. So that is Tech Tuesday for today. Um, if you have any comments or questions, please put them below. Um, I would love to make links to my templates for this stuff, and I will as soon as I get organized. And, you know, this has always been just for me. But as I put this stuff out there, I want to make it available for you guys because I wasn't able to find a good sheet. Um, so anyway, I'll get that on there too. Uh, that's what I got. So if you enjoyed this, if you enjoy all of them, please like and subscribe and share this and tell your friends. Um, every Tuesday is a new tip. Uh, every Thursday is, uh, is, is a show and tell, so I'll show a painting. And then I'll also be putting um, actual hour-long painting demos uh, weekly as well. So for Steve Leahy, uh, I thank you guys for dropping by, and um, I will catch you next time.